everybody, this is Tim here. I'm going to do an unboxing video of my new Slash 4x4 from Traxxas. Uh, I've had some Traxxas vehicles in the past, and they're pretty decent vehicles. Um, the price is right. I got this one, really good price. I got it from a place called Torodyne. That's T O R O D Y N E. They're in Rushland, Pennsylvania, uh, outside of like the Warminster area in Bucks County, and they uh, repair and refurbish and rebuild alternators, starters, things like that. But they're also an authorized Traxxas dealer. So they buy direct from Traxxas rather than going through a distributorship and they get really nice prices and they pass them on to people like you and I. So we're gonna take a look at this here. Um, I went for the four x four model. It doesn't say it on this side, but on this side it does. I went for the four x four model. It says right out of the box, it does about 40 miles per hour with the included nickel metal hydrate battery. Um, you can put a LiPo in here, which will significantly increase the speed. 2S LiPo is what's probably preferred. Um, you can put a 3S LiPo in here, but it, from what I hear is a thing with a 3S LiPo, it really wants to do a lot of this and do wheelies, and it's kind of not as enjoyable. Um, a couple things, from what I understand, a couple things that are new with this version that Traxxas is selling now is if you take a look on the speed controller, which I can show you when I open it up, hopefully uh, hopefully the speed controller inside here is like it shows on the box, but it has these three capacitors on here, which means that it is capable of running a four-pole motor, which that's, that's what I understand. Um, also, this includes a new four-amp charger rather than the wall charger, and the controller here has this new... Uh, this new technology on it where you can hook up your iPhone to it and you'd have to get additional sensors that go inside the car and it can do all sorts of things uh, you know, telling you your speed and different different kinds of driving and all that kind of stuff there is a module that you have to buy for that um, the older style controller or the, the older model controller had a little cradle to get it but that you had to buy and put your iPhone on there uh, the new one it actually is a module that you can buy that allows Bluetooth, so you can uh, run it through Bluetooth, which is nice. So, without further ado, we're gonna pop this baby open, take a look here, it has some nice Traxxas tape on it. So that's pretty nice, we don't have to worry about uh, if it was ever retaped by some scumbag or anything. So we're just gonna open this up. Okay, sorry about that. The uh, camera shut off because I was out of memory. So I just deleted some stuff. And uh, as far as I got was I sliced the tape right here. And pop it open. Let's see what we have. It looks like I opened the right side. So there's the truck in there. And I'm going to move my cameraman's cookies out of the way. Slide this baby out. There it is there. Just a couple of things out of the way. It's got styrofoam. Inside here is what the controller should be. It's coming. controller there. Another uh, another newer thing with this is it doesn't have an antenna. The an antenna is internal which is nice and on the back here this is where the module goes that you buy uh, that allows us to be Bluetooth so that you can send all your uh, information to your phone or iPod, iPad, whatever, whatever you would have. Um, so it's a nice controller truck. Let's see what we have down here. We have our instructions, spacers for the uh, shocks, some stickers in there. There's the 4 amp charger which is only for nickel metal. It will not work with a lipo but you can get, so it right on there, no, no lipo. Um, you can get a decent lipo charger depending on how much you want to spend. You can get one for as cheap as $30 on eBay for some Chinese uh, charge or you can go way up uh, to a really really good charger for your lipo batteries but this is the 4 amp charger for nickel metal this does include a nickel metal battery and we're going to open this up let's 
take these body clips off. One thing I'm going to modify on these body clips is a little tip that a lot of RC guys like to do is when you take a little piece of the uh, hose and little wire ties and you can extend this on here to make it nice and easy to pull off. I can show you that later. We'll do that on another video. There's the body there. Now this is a one-tenth scale model, um, but it's actually pretty large for being a one-tenth. It's actually kind of like a one-eighth, but little, still a little small to be a one-eighth, but it's a lot larger than your typical, typical uh, one-tenth scale. So let's see what we have inside here. And there's what I was hoping for, the three capacitors on the uh, electronic speed control. So, like I was saying before, I believe that's what lets you know that this will handle a four-pole motor. It's a brushless setup rather than being brushed, so it really has nice, uh, consistent speed. There's our battery there. This is a 3,000 milliamp hour nickel metal. Um, it's a, a seven cell, so it's 8.4 volts. Um, this has two differentials in it because it's four four-wheel drive, so... So it's got, uh, you can see the wheel spinning over there when I spin this one, but it has a shaft in here that controls, you know, brings the power up to the front as well. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice machine. Um, this has the Traxxas style connector, which for Traxxas, that's pretty common. Now, if you have some, uh, if you have another vehicle that has like a Dean style connector, which I can show you what that looks like if I can find it in my pocket. If you have another another car that has the Dean style, uh, and you have a lot of battery saved up from that car, you can just get yourself one of these adapters here. It has a Dean style connector on this side, and a Traxxas connector on this side. And I got this from Touradyne as well, where I got the truck, um, because I do have a lot of uh, LiPo batteries and some nickel metal batteries for an Arma Raider vehicle that I have. So rather than changing the battery plugs, I just got this adapter, um, so I can interchange the batteries. So that's about it. Um, this this uh, this truck got really good reviews. It was the truck of the year, I think, in 2014. And the only there's only a couple downsides, uh, from what I understand. The tires aren't the greatest out of the box. Um, they're okay, but for certain applications, they're they're very good on pavement, but on uh, like loose dirt and things like that, um, wet grass, they're a little subpar, I would say. Um, but I, I, I'm just relaying the message. I didn't try it yet, obviously. So, uh, more on that later. And also, uh, it's very waterproof. There's a video on YouTube of somebody actually putting a pressure washer on this. I wouldn't do that. I would just be afraid to do that. Um, but the guy that I got it from, he actually said that after every one of his runs, he sprays it out with a garden hose and he just hits it with his air compressor to blow out any water, any standing water that's in there. Um, the whole front section easily comes off and the whole back section easily comes off. Just a couple screws holds each of that to the chassis. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to set this up, run it a little bit. We'll take a video of that and, uh, then we'll go from there and then I'll do a, a follow-up video after we're all done with that and just let you know, uh, how everything went. And then probably in a couple weeks I'll do another video just showing how, you know, how my, uh, how I like it or. Hopefully I don't dislike it, but we'll do a couple follow-up videos. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to make it a little faster than some of the other ones that you might see on uh, YouTube here. So, like my, uh, like my page, subscribe, send some comments, give me a thumbs up. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.